Guilford. Um, this is where, well, the one my back went out <laughs> back on the 18th. Um, yeah, it's definitely a little harder working in this area here because um, the rocks are kind of impacted uh, a little bit more. But I'm just going to work the shallows out today and um, yeah, I'm going to do a little story um, how I kind of judge where I'm going to hunt or what the conditions may be like. Um, I'll do a little short video uh, later on tonight about that. Or it might not be a short, it might be about a five minute video or something. Alright, we're gonna get down in the water here, see what we can find. Alright, um, yeah, this the first little piece I found. It was ringing up in the mid 50s. Um, I retested the hole and this piece was in there with it. Yeah, so part of a little parasol uh, slide or glide, whatever you want to call it. But those probably went together. Alright, gonna keep heading up. This is the same track that I came down one day, went back up and came down. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to prove to myself and show you guys that you can miss stuff very easily in here. There's so many tones and you just gotta, having a small coil helps tremendously. Um, but picking out those good little, you know, non-ferrous targets. All right, I'm gonna keep hunting up. Yeah, I'm still learning the altar there. Um, usually there's kind of a little bit of a grunt before the tone and that would you know indicate to me that it's probably iron or some big piece of iron uh, i may have to recalculate how i think that um and this is probably i think it's rusted so i'm thinking that's why it's kind of giving me that tone but i think we have a padlock down here all i did was stick my shovel in the dirt and just flip it forward and that popped right out let's go get it Get you and me up right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's probably why it was giving me that uh, that rust tone there. But I think we're going to be able to clean that lock up pretty decent. That's a nice old one. All right, awesome little find, guys. On to the next. All right, folks. Yeah, this is the uh, Chevy hubcap that I threw over here to the side the other day when the back went out. Um, it was filled with stuff. I cleaned it out a little bit. You can see how that copper comes out nice or brass um the other thing is is i walked right up through here and how i miss this next item i don't know i mean i could have been standing there i could have been standing off to that side i could have looped around this spot but check that piece out that is a giant copper pan that very nice design i think i can work that back out so we're going to get that in the bag and stuff, and uh, we'll definitely carry that out with us. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can almost see my former dig holes. So a lot of times what I'll do is when I get in here, and I've been in here a few times, I'll just kind of interweave myself through those holes. And, yeah, I do miss things. All right. On to the next. All right, folks. Yeah, I had a nice solid uh, 55. And I put my shovel down in this soft sand and I kicked it forward while all the silt washes away. And I don't know if you guys can see what that is down there. I haven't picked it up yet. We'll go down and look at it together. That is gold jewelry, cuff link. And I know what this shiny stuff is right there. That's called goldstone. There's actually no gold in it. It's a chemical process that was made a long time ago. Beautiful little cuff link. It's probably, it looks like it might be gold plated. Oh, very nice. Oh, well, I can deal with that. Okay, we'll get that in a nice box. Yeah, it was tucked right up under this little mud cutout that the you know river's been carving out. So it's probably been under there for a while. All right keep working on 
Hey, folks. Yeah, I got myself a clay marble, I believe, down here. Let's go grab it. Oh, I need to get up right. Oh, that rib's starting to act up a little bit more, and I don't want to be stuck out here. So. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to hunt much longer. Like I said, uh, I don't know, I was just standing there and it just kind of twinged again, so probably just work up in this little cove here and then work back down and go home and rest up some more. All right, get you on the next one if there is one. All right, folks, I had a nice uh, 95 tone here and it looks like we have one of those ALA badges and I might have got into it a little bit. That bites because that one's in pretty good condition. Uh, I'll see if we can reach down here without pulling my back. I'm not taking you guys under. Oh, it's too much to reach. Uh, yeah, I definitely got into that. Bummer. All right. Well, it's hard to do sometimes. Uh, get up right here. All right. Well, either way, cool fine. I'm heading back down that way there. So I'm staying out here, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 feet. Um, from the shoreline, you know, and as you guys seen in the other videos, I'll just kind of guesstimate a line, you know, and who knows what's there. All right, on to the next. All right, folks, I got something fancy down here. I was ringing up in the 40s, a lot of lead. Um, I'm, this could just be a junk piece or something. I haven't pulled it out, but it looks like it could be fancy. All right, let's go check it out. beautiful piece of uh, I'd say lead for sure huh. yeah the rest of it I mean I can guarantee you it's all broken up in this river all right well cool little piece um, we're still heading downstream all right catch you on the next one all right folks this is my next little find here rung up right in the mid 40s uh, oh I didn't see that on that side well, that is freaking cool. Um, I think it's just flat glass. I thought this was some sort of finial or something. I didn't turn it over when I turned you guys on. Wow, very sweet. That's a beautiful piece. All right, I'll get that in the box. I'm hunting just down in these shallows here, moving as slow as a baby, or a slow baby anyways. And um, I'm just trying to hit every good tone. Um, there's hundreds in here. Um, so and right here it's fairly sandy with some gravel so you can dig easier so my back's feeling a little better right now knock on some wood but oh awesome little piece all right catch you on the next one all right folks yeah next part here was a broken up uh print plate that's too bad it was broken in the hole i didn't do that one <laughs> and i think i still have bits and pieces of it around here but these are the bigger ones, I think, so probably just call it quits on this dig for that. All right, I'm going to work back up this shore a little bit and get out and head home. Hey, folks. Yeah, I'm back over to uh, Brown's Mills today. Uh, that, that rib is still plaguing me. Um, I called a doctor, see if I can see a therapist, um, see if they can manipulate it back into place. It's more of a nuisance right now. Um, still going to be careful. <laughs> That's why I'm here today. Uh, it's shallow out through here. Uh, we're going to work down over towards those islands over there and those boulders because a lot of stuff gets collected over on that side. And we're just going to work down the shore. Um, I might work down to the next set of rapids and just get out in the field, see how it is. I could bend over for my first thing and have my back go out. Who knows? So <laughs> we'll get at it, and I'll get you guys back on on the first find. All right, let's go down uh, for the first find, folks. Beautiful uh, old vintage picture hangers. Um, it's got a little bit of a design on it, but it's been in the river for a while, so all that been kind of embossing is uh, definitely worn down, but I can still see a little bit. All right, cool. Get that in the bag. Keep that on. 
All right, folks. Yeah, my next little relic here. Yeah, this is an old uh, Rexall uh, bottle top. I don't know if it had powder or shampoo or what, but that's a cork still on it right there. Oh, cool little piece. I collect these. I've got a bunch of different ones. Um, any extras? I don't know if somebody has a bottle or something. And I might have a cap for them. I might be able to send it out to you. All right. I'm going to throw it in the pocket. I'm going to keep heading over here. I'm just kind of combing this whole shallow area. You can see it's down below my knees here. So nice, easy working. Not too bad to dig. So we'll keep heading on. Hey, right, folks. And the next little find here, we got ourselves a little snap button. And it says something on there. I it's sweet something. Um, yeah, cool. Right up in these uh, little shallow areas, when the river goes down, you know, being that this is one of the first places that start to, you know, uh, get exposed, a lot of this light stuff will get caught right up in here. And this was right down in that soil, just under a layer of uh, sand. But all right, cool. You can keep hunting around. All right, folks. Yeah, nothing overly special, but there's a cool uh, leg. Would have been a leg for something. Or well, the bottom of it. You can see where it would have sat flat like that. Nope. Probably an old stove or something. Okay. Um, yeah, right in here is where I found that uh, silver uh, shoe buckle. So, and a bunch of silver spoons right down through here. So, kind of covering this real slow, carefully. And I'm trying to get around all of these rocks and stuff. You got to move your coil all around them. All right. Keep on on. All right, folks, I had a high tone, and when I moved stuff around, I ended up having two tones. One was a little uh, brass, you know, like nut or something. And then the second find was this. Yeah, I believe it's going to be an discussion. You know, pretty cool. Beautiful details. All right, going to keep working around. Back's getting a little achy, so we'll see how much longer we go. All right, on to the next one. Alright folks, I got a pretty neat find. It was ringing up uh, right in the realm, no, mid-30s. And I had found another one, but it was way up there in the cove. Um, yeah, we'll go down and take a look at it. You guys might remember what I found up there. That's pretty cool. That's my second bird whistle. Yeah, very nice. All right, yeah, she'll display pretty nice that way. All right, um, yeah, I'm picking out any good solid tones. And I actually pulled out a bunch of crappy tones too, and it turned out to be crap. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna keep heading on. All righty, folks, I had uh, two two good tones. Um, I had a high tone here, and when I went to go put my metal detector down, the coil swung over there. You know, I was just you know putting it over that way and that we ended up getting a modern day shotgun slug but that first high tone that was a nice old razor no cool little relic right there all right oh, I'm gonna keep putting along along the shore here catch it back on all right folks I'm working down these shores to this little shallow spot down here and I saw something stuck up in between these rocks let me see if we can get down here uh. Well, it was part of, it was a nice uh, inkwell at one point. It's too bad. All right, yeah, there's not a lot of glass supplies in this river. So. All right, we'll keep on going. All right, folks. Yeah, I saw this down there, and at first I thought it might have just been the bottom of a broken bottle. Yeah, but I pulled it out. Yeah, I don't know. Could have been a candle holder or something. Ashtray. Who knows? Good little chunk of glass, though. So I'm going to take it home with me, even though it stinks to high heavens. But, <laughs> yeah, this is that shallow area, so I'm going to work down in through here. And I got permission from this gentleman up here to kind of, you know, roam roam up and through this bank in here. Stuff. So, yeah, I'll get you back on the next fine. All right, folks. Yeah, that small coil is awesome, man. I'll tell you. There's metal all through here, but I was picking out some mid mid tones here, and I don't know. I think I might have broke this a little bit digging for it um, a minute ago because I pulled a little piece out that I think might have been it. All right, let's go check it out.
cuts through the hills, that's the beauty show. I gotta let go and let the river carry me away. That is beautiful. And no, I didn't break that piece. Um, I don't see anything broken off in there. Maybe, maybe it was down in here. All right, well, we're gonna get in the pocket carefully because that's kind of fragile. I think it's made out of pewter or lead or something. Maybe a pewter. All right, keep on on. Hey right, folks, I see something gold colored down here. I'm not sure what it is. I figured we'll go look at it together. Beautiful. I wonder if that could be like a wash cloth because look how big that thing is. Oh, there's a little thing right there. Oh. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna... I don't know. I don't think it's gold plated. It's hefty though. But I, don't, I think it's just gold plated. Yeah. I can't see with my glasses on. Uh, without my glasses. Oh, cool find. You keep hunting down to you. Now people say that for me that a river is just a fantasy. Close your eyes and you will see that's the way life should be. Well, if it's real, if it's not, either way, I know I've got to let go. Let that old river carry me away Now people say If it's not, either way, I know I've got to let go. Let that old river carry.